Hello everybody and welcome to the first edition of a new segment on my channel called Trailer Tuesday. It's very rare when I do reviews for movie trailers that release, unless they're for really big movies. I don't really share my thoughts for others that often, but I figure it's time to add some more variety to my channel where I discuss more than just the mainstream scene, but also include independent trailers and more because that's a scene I really like to stick with throughout. So I have nine trailers that I'm going to break down for you guys. In fact, three of them just released this morning on film websites and more, and a lot of them I heard are coming from cinema. Con, which is happening in Las Vegas this week and has been going on for several days. And also as a quick disclaimer, I don't have a definitive rating system that I'm going to follow upon to give my grades for all these trailers that I break down. So for now, I'm just going to stick to the laid back system of giving them star ratings out of five. So let's cut to the chase right now. First up is the newest trailer to Disney Pixar's Brave, which is their follow up project to Cars 2, which I admit I was not a fan of that much at all. In fact, it was definitely Pixar's weakest movie without a doubt. However, for this, it looks Looks like they're going on more of a mature turn because in the trailer it does show a lot of those kiddie comedy bits but at the same time for the plot because it actually breaks down the plot way more than any of the trailers in the past have it actually shows what it's about the animation of course looks beautiful I think the voice cast is terrific so far I have to say that my interest is up it's not one of my highly highly anticipated movies of the summer without a doubt it's gonna be one of those that I just wait for the reviews and see what it will be and I'll just go in with the most open mind possible but for now I can say that I was satisfied with what I saw, so I'm going to give this trailer a 3.5 out of 5. Next up is the newest trailer to G.I. Joe Retaliation, which is the sequel to G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra, and I'll admit I have not seen G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra, and I felt like I did myself a huge favor of never giving that film a view, and I have to say, from the first trailer, it looked like it was going to deliver on good action, and this trailer confirms it even more, because I think that this is going to be one of those definitive summer movies where it wants to deliver on action and really nothing else. It's one of those shut your brain off and enjoy movies, and that's essentially what G.I. Joe is, because it delivers all on the action. It looks like they're definitely going in the right step of what the show's tone was, especially in this movie. There are minor nitpickets aside that I did have with it, but the casting looks great. The action looks like it's going to be very fun. And overall, this just looks like, as I said, a really fun movie. So I'm also going to give it a strong three and a half out of five. Next up is the first official trailer to Sony Picture Animation's latest Hotel Transylvania, which is an animated movie set against this hotel for all these monster myths and legends that's headed by Dracula, who's voiced by Adam Sandler, and you also have Bigfoot, skeletons, and so much more that inhabit that place, but things go wrong when a human voiced by Andy Samberg arrives at the hotel, and that's where many shenanigans ensue. Now, with the exception of Funny People back in 2009, Adam Sandler has not made anything good since Fifty First Dates, in my opinion. And for here, even though it's an animated movie, and he's doing kind of a SNL shtick voice for the Dracula character, I'm still not entirely convinced that this will be a worthwhile film. Film. Even with Jendi Tartakovsky behind it, he's directing it, he was in the hand of several famous Cartoon Network shows, Samurai Jack and Dexter's Laboratory. That is the one thing that I feel like this movie has going for it. The voice casting is decent and the animation is decent for what it is. However, I'm just not really convinced. This is going to be for the kids for the most part and I just don't think that I'm going to get full enjoyment out of it because I can tell that this movie is already not really made for me. And even though it looks like something that's harmless for the most part and that Adam Sandler is not really going for major stupidity with his voice or anyone else really is. I just think it's going to be one of those subpar kids movies and the humor especially, there's already one toilet joke in that trailer so you can already expect that this movie is going to be very centered for the kids. However, as I said, it looks like it's going to be one of those harmless ones. It won't really be one that will get on my nerves too much, but for the most part, I just wasn't really impressed with this trailer that much. So I'm going to give it two and a half out of five. Next up is the trailer for Steven Soderbergh's latest feature, Magic Mike, which releases this summer. It stars Channing Tatum as a male stripper, which I got to admit, Channing Tatum has really been on a high rise this year. He has surprised the hell out of me with the films that I've seen him star in, especially 21 Jump Street. His role in Haywire was pretty small, but from what he was given, he looks like he did really good as well. And I think it's the right director that he's given where his performance is really shine. And I think he's going to do great in this movie just based off the trailer alone. I am a fan of Steven Soderbergh's work. I'm still slowly going through the rest of the releases that I haven't seen of his yet. And for the most part, I have been really impressed because he's one of the best directors working today. And I think this is going to be a pretty entertaining movie for the most part. However, the one flaw this movie has going for its marking is that the gender ratio for the people that see this movie is going to be much more woman than male, of course. However, I'll admit, I'm going to see it. I'm seeing it because I'm a Steven Soderbergh fan. I'm interested in what else Channing Tatum can do with his acting because he's really been going on a 
hot streak so far. And I'm going to give this also a solid 3.5 out of 5. I enjoyed the trailer for what it's going for, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty decent summer movie. Next up is the trailer to David Cronenberg's Cosmopolis, which stars Robert Pattinson, and this is going to be one of those very few times where I'm looking forward to a movie that stars Robert Pattinson. And it's not just because he's in it, it's because David Cronenberg is directing it. This looks like such a trippy movie from the trailers, and it's not really revealing too much in plot, other than the fact that it's going to be a very odd and weird movie. You can definitely hint at that from the visual style that Cronenberg has going for the movie in the trailer alone. Back in the days when he made movies like Scanners, Videodrome, The Brood, and so much more, it looks like he's going back for that body horror slash thriller genre that made him famous back in the day. And I'm really convinced from the trailer that this is going to be one of the oddest movies of the year. But it looks right up my alley because David Cronenberg is a very ballsy director because he isn't afraid to go too far in terms of graphic detail and shock appeal. So I'm definitely looking forward to this movie. The trailer really impressed me and I also really dug the music in it too. And I'm going to give it 4 out of 5. I am really interested in seeing this movie. I cannot wait for it to release because I've been waiting so long for the day where David Cronenberg returns to his old days as a director. Next up is the trailer to Morgan Spurlock's latest documentary, Mansum, which is a documentary on male grooming and the main stars of it actually are Will Arnett and Jason Bateman. So there's an Arrested Development reunion for all you fans out there. I am a big fan of Morgan Spurlock's documentaries. The only one I haven't seen is Where in the World is Osama Bin Laden. I like all of them for the very sticky appeal that they go for in which Morgan Spurlock not only treats the subject that he deals with with a lot of human touch, but he also isn't afraid to make parody or satire out of the subject. He's never afraid to spice it up with his classic brand of humor. And it looks like he's going to do the same thing with this movie as well. But at the same time, this looks like a really funny documentary, especially with Will Arnett and Jason Bateman being two of the lead stars. And it's compiled with a lot of interviews in the trailer, especially the funniest being Zach Galifianakis, of course. It just had its premiere at Tribeca, so it's most likely to get a release date sometime later this year. I'm really looking forward to when it comes out because I am a devoted fan of Spurlock's work. And I'm going to give this trailer a solid 4 out of 5. I really enjoyed it. It was very funny in parts, and especially with the fact that the movie deals with male grooming, you can definitely expect that there's going to be a lot of satire and humor that approaches that. Next up is the trailer to Ryan Johnson's Looper, which released several weeks ago. I'm really looking forward to this movie because I was a massive fan of his debut feature, Brick, which also starred Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And this movie alone looks like it's going to put a very interesting spin on the sci-fi genre. And I think Joseph Gordon-Levitt looks phenomenal in the makeup for the fact that they tried to make him look like a young Bruce Willis. The fact that those two are in this movie alone really piques my interest high and I'm really looking forward to what Ryan Johnson can do because he seems to work with a different genre with every movie that he deals with and the fact that he started with the neo-noir detective thriller with Brick and then he went to the crime caper con artist movie with the Brothers Bloom which I still have yet to see and now a sci-fi thriller with Looper. I'm really interested from what it is however the trailer alone disappointed me just a little bit because something felt missing. I don't really know what, but at the same time, I really, really dug it, and it looks like it's going to be one of the better sci-fi movies of the year, and I'm also going to give this trailer a 4 out of 5. Next up is the trailer to Oliver Stone Savages, and I'd just like to show you guys something quick. I actually bought the book, which this movie is based off of today, Don Winslow's Savages, and a lot of people have been comparing this movie alone to Army of Two, which it's not really that. The way that I look at it, it's more like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid on speed because of how fast the pace looks like it's going to be from the trailer. And also from the very bright color palette, I'm really digging the style that Oliver Stone's going with it. In fact, it harkens a lot back to how he employed his visual style to Natural Born Killers, which is one of my favorite movies of his and definitely his most controversial from what I've seen. I think it looks really good. It's going to be a very fun action movie in particular. However, the one thing that was a turnoff for me was Blake Lively's acting was very flat in the trailer, even though the majority of it was just from her being voiceover narration for the trailer. However, that is my only minor nitpick at the side. I think that this is going to be a very solid summer movie, and I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I'm really looking forward to Oliver Stone's return to his old days of directing, and that is the main reason why I'm really hyping this movie. And the last trailer I'm going to talk about is the one for the documentary I Know That Voice, which is about the business of voice acting, and it interviews nearly every famous voice actor you could think of from the past 20 years or so, and they all give their input on what the business is and how important voice acting is to animated shows these days, on how it's not just about doing your simple voice, you have to go a lot more further than that. It looks like it's going to be a very in-depth analysis and breakdown of the voice acting business, of how it's really risen up today, and a lot of the celebrities that are voice actors in this 
this movie that are interviewed throughout, a lot of them look very entertaining in their appeal and very insightful at the same time for how much this business means to them. And I know not a lot of people have really heard this movie because in fact it hasn't even finished filming yet. This is just from what they've shot and they haven't even premiered it at a film festival, it doesn't have a release date or anything, but I'm really looking forward to this because I was a 90s kid and I grew up on animated shows all the time and just that appeal alone makes me really look forward to this film and I'm probably going to go higher than any other rating that I've given for the trailers I've discussed before. I'm giving this 4.5 out of 5. I really enjoyed it just for the fact that it has so many voice actors that I've grown up with knowing who voice some of my all-time favorite characters just given their input on the business. It just looks very in-depth in its analysis on the business and really entertaining at the same time. So I hope all of you enjoyed the first edition of Trailer Tuesday. If there's any trailers that I did miss from the last week or so, personal message me and I'll give a response back on one of those that you choose. So in the meantime, I'm talking Cat Creek Reviews, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.